Can you see my screen now? Okay. Okay. So, so how you locate, how you locate, how to create a blog post is this. Um, yes, I can. You can see my screen, right? So you come to this place and then you type wp dash admin. Can you see wp dash admin? And then you log in. W what? You 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 type your normal URL. Then you type wp dash admin. So WP dash admin dash admin. Yes. On then, my website page and yes, this yes. An address. Yes, yes. Link. You just put slash WP dash admin. Now okay. when you come to, it will bring you to this page. I believe you can see my screen. You enter okay. your login details and then you click on login. Yeah, I can see the next thing. Yes. Okay, so it will bring you to where we call the dashboard. But I don't know the login details, yeah. I send them to you now. Check them. They are there. So it will bring you to this column, this section called, this is what we call your back office. Okay. Now, your back office, scroll, you will see posts. Can you see posts? Okay. You will see posts. You come here, you scroll okay. here, come to add new. Add new. That yes. is once you click on add new, it will bring you to add posts to where you can create your new posts. It's opening. I see my network. Okay, now this is it. So you can see this is the title. You simply type your title how to create a new blog post in 2020. So I think what will happen is, okay, so this is your, this is where you do all your work. Okay. This is where you do all your yes. work. So by the time you write, yes. like if you follow the class I showed you, I know you are here because you want to learn how to create Stick around, stick around, and as I do, you can create blog posts to your WordPress blog. Simple. Now, this is what we call the hook. Like you are kind of, they have come to them that, okay, you're welcome here, you're in the right place. I'm going to teach you this, you understand? Mm -hmm. Now, from the training yesterday, I said you visit this site called Canva. Mm -hmm. You visit this site called Canva. What? Canva, Canva. Canva. Canva, this is the spelling, Canva. And then you come to create a design. C A N V A N. Yes. yes. Come to this place and try blog. Just type. How blog. do I get to the Canva? Yeah. I said go to a new. Uh, you. Ca I'm seeing. Can't you see my screen? I can see your screen, but mm. um, where did you go to the Canva? Is it from the same page? A new home. You open a new. The W P. Yes. Okay, okay, I open a new. Okay, okay. Okay, good. So you go to canva.com and then you type in, you type in, so you come to the search, you see a search bar, but if you don't, if you are new to Canva, they'll ask you to log in. Just click on login with my Facebook account. Do you understand? Okay. It will just tell you, Facebook, uh, do you want to permit this? You put it. So okay. It will All right. it. So you come to this search place and you type blog. They will bring you two categories. You see blog mm. banner and blog graphics. What you need is blog graphics. <laughs> you click on it. Basically, they help you with the exact, uh, okay. with the size, suitable. They will even give you some templates to select from. You can see them, yeah. right? So now I can just pick up this. You can see, I just click. Okay. That is, yeah. I'm telling them, I want them to help me. Let me customize this one. Using that same design, this is what I will do now. Okay. So you can see, can you see the blog post? 
Mm. I see. So all you do now is you come. I like I I said mm. in the group yesterday. Yes, I can. In the training mm. yesterday, I mentioned it. I said copy the same title. Can you see the same title? Mm. And and make it and just write add it up as a graphics. Can you see? Can you see? So I'm now have the same thing. I now have the yeah. same thing. Can you see? It helps what it helps the search engine optimization in helping your blog. Yeah. So can you see, this is what you should do. One is yeah. to write the title, as you can see me doing. Then here, you can also write your website. So you yeah. can write, because you are branding here. You said it's already, your, I'm already teaching you how to brand your website. So you see, yeah. I'm now writing it. So can you see, tarimea.com. Yeah. Yes, don't you see how it looks now? It looks professional. Yeah. So that's how simple. Forget all those graphics you see. This is exactly what it is. Mm. No. Yes. Mm. I'm trying to centralize it. Then uh, another thing you should watch out for is look at the backgrounds. Like this background, mm. Mm. I think I might have to change it. Okay. I don't, you don't want to use a background that will not mm. be clear. You want something that someone can see. Mm. You know, you are dealing with people. Some will have eye issues. Some will have maybe. In fact, if your blog is for Nigerians, they said Nigerians yeah. are very lazy. You have to really make it clear so that they won't have any excuse. You understand? But for the purpose of this blog, we're not actually in the camera see. class. Yes, so I'm just going to rush it through. Yeah. So but you can see it, right? This is how you create it. So this is it. So now what you do is, after you're done with your graphic, yeah. you come here and click on download. You select yeah. PNG. Can you see PNG here? And then you click on download. Yeah. Download. Can you see it has finished downloading? I simply yes. continue. I'm done with Canva. Now, all I'll do is here, you scroll down. So, by the time, let's say to create a blog, just trying to create something. Follow simple steps one. WordPress dashboard two. Okay, let me see. Navigate blog to change post. Navigate to posts. Posts. Add new. Let me see. Is that it? Yes. Add new. So let me put it in. Add new. Or enter the blog. Are you doing this on a computer? Yes. On a laptop. Yes, I said it's better. I prefer using enter the blog title and create and type in. Type. No, I mean, are you the Zoom, the system you're using? Is it the laptop? Yes. Okay, I think that's why you have the pointer. Okay, so six and six uh, add. Maybe design and add your graphic design a simple graphics canva.com and add the graphics add the graphics to block. It's uh, publish. Then seven eight. Copy the link. Not caption. Causing curiosity to motivate. Six 
That's it. So once you're done, so at the end, by the way, I always end this thing. So uh, mm. after always end it is mm. after you are done. That's it. So you always end it well. Now you know how to create a brand new blog post. So this is what we call now. Look at. Let me give you the sequence. Let me give you the formula. You see, from here to here, this is what we call mm. the hook. This is what we call the hook. Mm. Do you understand? This is what we call the hook. Then from here to mm. here is what this mm. other place. This mm. is the content. This is the content mm. of the website. From here up to this place. That's the content because that is exactly what I okay. told them. Right? I told them, mm. not look at it. I told them I will do this. Mm -hmm. And then I did it. Now, is this is time now? I'm doing mm. the third part, which is what we call the C. That is a call to action. So, if you like this post, mm. you will probably like my. Okay, the first is the, the second is the content. Then, yeah, yes. this last one you're doing is the call to action, right? Yes, yes. and it's simply telling them maybe if you have something to sell, this is the right time to do it. Because it's basically I've given them value, I've given them value, and probably now they know that I'm valuable, right? Mm -hmm. And then they want to know more. They want to know more. Or the, yeah, I'm actually just giving an opportunity for anybody who wants to know more. So, but this is just it. Mm -hmm. If you like this post, you will probably like my next. Okay. You understand? You probably like my next mm -hmm. post on. Then this is what you always do. If you have a, maybe a previous post where you talk about yeah. something, maybe another post, you copy the link and then let me show you how to add the link. You shared it up here. You shared it, you mark it here like this. Okay, so let me just say, if you like this post, you will probably like, or maybe, or let me say, if you like this post, you will love to, you will love or maybe okay normally let me use like in your terms right this is a technology post but in your case now in your case right you are into products mm -hmm. you sell products okay what you may do instead is you might say if you like this product or yeah. if maybe or you can say if you would like yeah. maybe in mm -hmm. your post in your post you shared uh, the story you shared your story right so what you then do is you tell them Mm. Um, if you would like, if you are interested, if you would like to work with mm. me, if you would like to work with me, work, work with me, me, or maybe, or her, or would like to, or will like to read more about, <laughs> or you like to Thank you. About my journey, my journey. So click here to learn. More. So look at what I'll do now to learn. More. See what I'll do. I'm going to click here, or in fact, I can even click here. Can you see? Mm -hmm. I've highlighted this whole post. Can you see this button? Can you see? Mm -hmm. You can see now, have you? Yes. Okay. So which well, one? This one. Okay. Look, look at my screen. Insert edit link. Yeah. Once, yeah, I can see. Once I click it, it's going to tell me paste URL. So I'm going to put the same link to your home page. This is your name, man. Okay. And then okay. So what happens is, can you see it's now red? It shows this is a link. This is a link. Then again, then upper, after I'm done with okay. it, I can still come back so, and say. Uh, why you click? Sorry. Why yes. you why you highlight? Highlight. Yes. Sorry. Go ahead. When you highlight it, 
you go up and you click. When you highlight, you go up and you click on the link button. Yes. Yes. Okay, so when you click on the link button, what do you do next? You to open up. You to open up. Uh, it will open up a button for you. If you click it, to open up. It will say type paste URL. This means when they click, you take them to. That's simply what it means. Mm. So you then enter the website. So like I said, if you had okay, you okay, had previous okay. Blog posts, if you had previous blog posts, that is where to put them to. Then let me show you the last feature, which is to add the mm. image. Okay. Yeah. Can you see? Can you see this place? Featured images. Mm. Yeah. It will ask you, do you have any images? Here? Where? Where? Here, Hold yeah. on. See it here by the right. Featured images. Okay. Yeah. Click. Mm. Tell you, do you have any picture to add? You can use, this is the picture I used before. Mm. So it's already on the dashboard. But if you want to add a new mm. one, if you want to add a new one, all you do is mm. you click on select new. Can you see? Now it says yeah. drop file, drop file to upload. To upload, I can click here to open up. Mm. So this yeah. is the recent picture I just created. The one it downloaded to my downloads. You can see it here. So I'll open it. I'll open mm -hmm. it. Okay, good. It has finished. So Once you see, upload, I'll click I'll here. Click on set that featured image. Now that is it. Then one other thing. One other thing. Um. There is what you call categories. Now, category is when for every post you post, right? Mm. They will give you a segment to select where people actually reach it through easily. That when it comes to when they come to navigation. Now, let's say by the time you start having, mm. by the time you start. So you create your tags here. Can you see? You create your tags here. So like for this okay. one, this was a technology post, but let me just let me just leave it for a lifetime. But you can create as many tag categories as possible. So what happens is when it comes later, it will now it categories, will now, yeah. It will now add this post to under category fashion or under whatever you post. Then that's after it. Then we have what you call tags. Tags is oh. this actually appears even in Google. It's okay. just like that. So what are you tagging? If it's about uh, health, you put health. The same thing. It's somehow like a category. Only that category stays on your website, so you can add different tags. For example, technology. Oh. You can write WordPress. Oh. WordPress. You understand? So depending on the context of your blog, you can add as many as possible. Just separate them with commas like this so once you are done you hit the publish can you see you hit publish publish that's yeah. it so once it's published it will give you the link to the website this is the link here can you see this is the blog link so all you do is you click here you click on copy link address now i can now post this link to you anywhere I see the blog post. So, like I said, you can then create a short caption for it. You can create a short caption for it. So, but that is basically all. I hope uh, I was able to cover all you wanted to learn. So, thank you very much for joining. I'm going to stop the video now and I wish you all the best.